Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, man. We got a couple of uh, articles I want to get into. Um, one article is uh, Jeff Bezos. I'm pretty sure some of you may have heard the warning. He's telling consumers to cut back on that holiday spending. Also, out of Bloomberg, uh, there's a warning of a um, maybe rolling blackouts in the U.S. Let's get into it. All right, before I get into this, um, a couple of these articles, man, look, so I go to Walmart, man, buy some fish supplies, man, and look, and look what somebody did. Look what they did, man. They didn't stuck their finger, open this up, man, to see how these uh, freeze-dried blood worms uh, look, or they could have sprinkled some out. I don't know, but this is my first time purchasing this. Maybe I, I was trying to, you know, treat the fish to another, to a different snack, and somebody already done poked a hole in it. So make sure you're checking your items when you're when you're shopping at Walmart or any of these um, these stores. All right, so let's get into this article. So basically, um, the Amazon founder Jeff Bezos warns of of recession, advises people to avoid these things. Okay, it says as the holiday season looms in the Western world, so does a recession. This is the time when Americans and Europeans splurge their yearly bonuses on big ticket purchases such as travel and consumer goods. But now is not the time to do so, advised Jeff Bezos. Says, um, he said American families should avoid big ticket purchases such as cars, television, as the economy is staring at a recession. If you are an individual and you are thinking about buying a large screen TV, maybe slow that down, keep that cash and see what happens. Same thing with, with a refrigerator, a new car, whatever. Just take some time, take some risk off the table, said Bezos. So basically, man, you want to be um, very careful about how much money you're, you're going you're gonna to splurge. You're definitely going to splurge out buying gifts and stuff like that, man. Or maybe just hold back on some of that. You know, you don't always have to bring a gift to uh, show someone that you, you care about them or you love them or you're just thinking about them. You know, sometimes you can just, um, I got this stuff, excuse me, on my face. But sometimes, man, you can just, you know. Have a little family gathering, have a nice meal, and so on and so on. You don't always have to go out and break the bank, man, to show somebody that you love them or you care about them. So it's, it is a lot going on, man. And, and that being said, man, I went out today, man. So I decided to get a, um, just see the cost of an oil change, um, tire rotation. You know, just see the cost because, like I said, I, I normally would change my own oil and do my tire rotation. So I went to... The local lube's um, area, the local lube shop in my area, and I'm going to tell you, man, for synthetic oil, synthetic oil now, now keep in mind, I do have a truck, so it takes approximately 10, um, 10 quarts of oil. It's a Ford, yep, 10 quarts of oil, so I get full synthetic oil change and a tire rotation, $190. $190 for an oil change and a tire rotation. Then that's just $190. So then I said, okay, I wanted to fill that sucker up, right? Fill it up, decided to run it down to see what's the total cost of, what's the cost of it to fill my truck up when it's on basically E. $160. $3, $163. So we got hundred and almost $190 oil change, $163 to fill that truck up. And then I decided, okay, let me go ahead and get some kerosene. $7 a gallon for kerosene. You know, so that's about $32 with the five gallon uh, container. 
And this is all in one span, man. This is just, you know, and, and my point I'm trying to make is, man, you have to really be strategic when you're purchasing vehicles, um, anything that you buy. It's like some people go out there and buy these trucks and buy these expensive uh, cars, but they don't, they're, they're, they're not keeping in mind of the maintenance part of it. Now, you might go out there and, and get yourself a BMW. Oh, I want a BMW. But when it's time to get those brakes and those rotors changed, you're going to be looking at $1,000, 800 to $1,000 if you go to the dealership. Now, you might get some backyard mechanic that really don't know too much about BMWs and screw your whole car up. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, when you're out there shopping for vehicles, make sure you get something where the maintenance, if you do have to do the maintenance, as far as yourself, you're mechanically inclined and you want to do the maintenance, it's not going to break the bank. You know, a headlight shouldn't cost you three or $400, you know, depending on the car, you know, some of these cars, man, you might get a, a, a new headlight installed and they want about three or $400 cause you have those uh, HID headlights in there. So you got to keep that in mind when you're shopping around, man. So what I did was, um, back to the oil change thing, um, I just went on and got the oil change. I went on and got the oil change. Tire rotation I didn't do um, because I can do that. I really didn't have the time to do the oil change because I have so much stuff um, in my garage because I'm setting up another uh, shelf. And I really couldn't, didn't have the time to do the oil change. So I basically was just shopping around to see what was the cost of the oil change um, as of 2022, uh, December of 2022. And you're looking approximately about, yeah, $190 if you get that tire rotation, if you have a truck. Now, if you have a car and your car takes synthetic, you're going to be looking at $80. $80. But if you got a foreign car, you might as well tack on another and another 40 bucks. But sometimes those uh, foreign cars are 12, 12 uh, quarts, nine to 12 quarts of oil. All right, man. So that being said, man, you got to be real strategic when you're shopping for cars. I'm talking about now because because I'm telling you, prices are all over the place, man. Gas prices all are over the place, man, especially in my area. I mean, $163, man, just to fill that truck up, man. Normally, I don't let it, let it get below a half a tank. But like I said, I wanted to see what was the total cost. You know, of today's prices, and it's $163 to fill that truck up, you know. So, yeah, man. So, you want to be careful when you're shopping, just out there buying these trucks and these cars, man. You want to look at the maintenance on them and um, make sure that you're able to afford the maintenance. That's what's going to get you, the maintenance. All right. I got another news article here. It says, hey, this is out of Bloomberg, a quarter of Americans at risk of winter power blackouts grid emergencies. Now it says large swaths of North America may face blackouts and other energy emergencies during bouts of extreme cold this winter as coal and natural gas supplies tighten, according to the U.S. regulatory agency. It says uh, electric grids and most risks of supply shortfalls are in Texas, the central U.S. system stretching from the Great Lakes of Louisiana, New England, and the Carolinas, the North American Electric Council said in its seasonal assessment Thursday. Severe weather may stress grids by causing demand to soar while supplies of natural gas, coal, Backup fuel oil are all tight, leaving little room for error, according to the report. So this report came out last week explaining that, you know, in that area, Carolinas, over there in Texas and everything, man, you might experience some 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 blackouts, man. And extreme cold weather, man. People are going to be running them those those furnaces, man. So if you have the means, make sure that you have a backup um, heat for your house. Maybe some, some kerosene heaters. And kerosene is high in my area, $6.99 for one gallon. So I got a couple of um, 
five gallon um, containers of kerosene. And that's just for backup, just in case anything happens. Um, if you have a wood burning stove, make sure you have a stockpile of uh, wood, you know, which you should have been doing in the summertime, stockpiling that wood up. But yeah, man, it, it is a lot of things that's, um, that's just changing as far as the cost, man. The cost. Everything is going up, man. Your paycheck is just staying right about there, you know? So, oh, man. Just be mindful of your spending, man. The holiday season, man, you, you don't want to catch yourself out there uh, uh, splurging on a bunch of gifts and stuff like that. And you have um, electric bill, water bill looming in the background. You know, you don't want to put no $10, $20, $30 on a bill and think it's going to be all right, man. Because sometimes, depending on your state, they'll shut you off, man. They will shut you off if you're late. You know, depending on your area. I don't care if you say, okay, I'm going to put $20 on it. I'm going to put $50 on it. You know, they'll still turn you off until you pay the, whole, the entire balance in some states, man. So you do not want to go out there and start splurging on all these gifts and you have bills, utility bills that need some attention. So keep that in mind, man. So, yeah, man, it is, it is definitely going to get rough, man. So you want to take heed to some of these warnings, man, and make the proper adjustments. All right. So I'm going to get back to what I'm doing and I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.